Hey, what's up guys? It's Solomon with Saul Good Media. And in today's video, we're gonna be going into some of the new features that Anchor just rolled out. It's January 27th, so this was yesterday. They sent out an email. We're gonna be going over some of that together. So let's hop into it. So right here, um, Anchor basically is telling us they're introducing a brand new Anchor, a better way to say it all. And they're celebrating the evolution of their brand and the expansion of Anchor to create with their Anchor Creator community. They've made some visual updates and upgrades that they think that we're going to love. So let's dive into some of them. So I'm just going to kind of read off this page here. But today we're excited to share a whole new brand identity for Anchor. First, we've introduced ourselves as the easiest way to make a podcast back in 2015 when we were a tiny startup. Over the last few years, our creator community has expanded so much, 80% of all new Spotify podcasts are powered by Anchor, that we felt it was the right time to evolve the brand along with our ever-growing platform. Nothing about what you can do with Anchor is changing, but the podcast experience is looking even better. So here's uh, a short video that we'll play. We'll just watch it together. And I just think it's pretty cool. Um, so let's, let's just watch it. Everyone has something to say, a story to tell. We make it easy to share yours. So let's talk. Regardless of your podcast setup, hit record. And from there, whether your podcast reaches 10 people or 10 million, we can help you get heard wherever listeners are. And who knows, maybe even quit your day job. But no matter who hears you, it's about connecting and sharing something from your perspective. It's about having a voice and using it without anything standing in your way. Say it all with Anchor. This is pretty exciting to see how Anchor is not only becoming this industry standard for podcasting, but as you know, when I first started using Anchor, I wasn't even sure if it was going to be a good platform for podcasting. I started with a platform called Libsyn, which for many people don't even realize a lot of people are paying for podcast hosting. And I've seen a lot of professionals, people that coach on starting their own podcast that you don't want to use a, a platform like Anchor because if they're not charging you, then you're the product. And Anchor has been really transparent. It's really, really cool because they were bought by Spotify for something like $200 million. And Spotify's main mission as a company is to basically be the leader in audio. Um, in, in audio, any listening platform. And so Anchor is this amazing way for them to grow their listening base by offering podcasting for free, making it an easy entry. And Anchor does take a cut of listener support. Um, there's workarounds on that, but it's very minimal compared to the amount of hosting that you'd be paying to run your podcast on Libsyn, Castos, or these other hosting sites. I remember going back and forth of like, should I use Spotify? Should I use Libsyn? What should I use to host my podcast? Because I don't want to be spending you know, upwards of a hundred plus dollars a year, which might not sound like that much, but it just adds up, especially if you're going to create more than one podcast. Um, the amount of podcasts that we currently run as a company would not be sustainable. And we were running all of our podcast through Anchor. So it's just exciting to see that they're rolling out these new features. They, they definitely care about the list, uh, like not only the Anchor creators, but making it a really good experience for everybody as they continue to grow their business. And I think they're just gonna attract more and more of this market share of podcasting. And um, so let's, let's continue down the page. So empowering people from around the world to say it all, share their voices and all together express themselves is what Anchor is all about. It's why we do what we do. With the rebranded Anchor, we're practicing what we preach. We're expressing ourselves. We also want to ensure that even though Anchor is easy and free to use, the podcasting experience feels like a premium one. That was just some of the thinking behind our brand makeover with help from our creative partners at Red Antler. I'm not sure who Red Antler is, but we could pop them up and just take a quick look. Looks like Red, Anc Red Antler does website design. Uh, won't spend too much time on that, but just wanted to see who they were. Uh, so the new anchor supports a major flare right from the light, right from the logo get go. Say hello to our new wave, the visual representation of the human voice, the power that lies in the ebb and flow of our self-expression, the beginning of our logo's shape and 
form mimics that of an anchor A. Well, the thin to thick stroke embodies the anchor. Oh, that's cool. So that's their new kind of logo, it looks like. Um, well, the thin to thick stroke embodies the anchor creator's progression. The logo goes places, namely skyward before ending with what we view as anchors are. But we like to leave it open to our imagination, to your imagination. Of course, our logo speaks to the universal podcast or journey in the form of an audio wave. It always starts at zero decibels and reverberates remaining in motion throughout the ascending throughout and ascending the wave. So this is their new color palette. Podcasting subject matter encompasses all of the moods and tones, funny, playful, sad, serious, weighty, uplifting, musical, absurd, educational, and everything in between and beyond. But we want the process of podcasting to feel fun, exciting, resounding, and vibrant. Always. There's a magic in the steps of beginning a podcast, and we hope it never feels mundane or boring. Plus, color is in Anchor's DNA, just as it is for Spotify. And since we're now a part of the same brand, band, we're ready to fine-tune our hues. Our new purple amps it up loud and proud without shouting, with a spectrum of bright colors that inspire and reflect the diversity of everyone who creates a podcast, because podcasting isn't about blending in. So they talk about their typography. A word on typography, rather a few words. It is sneakily crucial, just like the word it adorns. When we are honing in on the original anchor word mark, we were attracted to the Carla typeface, which gives off a sense of strength and boldness. We took things one step further when we chose Max, which is a powerful but doesn't which is also powerful, but it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's versatile, hitting all the notes and boasting a wide range of uses. Its distinctive personality is, a f is on full display in the curves and stems of certain letters and the slanted ends of the letter forms. Ultimately, Max provided an authority that Carla could not, and that was crucial to our design. During Anchor's first five plus years, we were laser focused on building the best podcasting platform available. Our rebrand enables us to think outside the user interface box and shine more light on creators, which means a new direction with photography. Less about podcasting, more about podcasters. So many people around the world are making must hear podcasts with Anchor. We want to show them in their environment as a reminder and reinforcement to the human voices behind the mic. And just like other elements of our visual changes, we're dialing up the photos to celebrate creators, idiosyncrasy, style, and space. This approach unifies it, all the subjects we captured while simultaneously helping them stand out. But wait, there is, of course, a podcast. Last but certainly not least, if, if we at Anchor didn't podcast about our new podcasting platform design, fellow rebrand enthusiasts from Red Ain't Letter who, with whom we co-navigated the sometimes treacherous terrain of changing things up, teamed up with us to create our very own podcast and talk about all the brand identity and decisions, decisions, decisions. We reconvened to discuss the finished product, good-natured battles over the, our logo, how we landed on the neon yellow in our, yellow, in our app icon, and, all, and so much more. It's cool to see what they're doing with it. It's cool to see that they're actually taking an interest in improving the platform and really making it something that's going to grow and evolve. And if you guys have followed, followed along in the podcast playbook, which is a free playlist on our YouTube channel currently, that is something that we kind of show the old design. Um, we show kind of we've captured what Anchor looked like as we kind of guide you through. And a lot of the navigation tools in that course are still up to date. Nothing's really changed. This update is more of a typography brand. Um, you know, like they say, they're trying to create this pro experience. So there's nothing really for the user to know per se that needs to, that's going to change. I've, I've walked through the platform and everything is pretty much the same. It just looks a little different. It feels a little bit different. And it's cool to see that they're really putting a lot of thought and effort into the aesthetic of Anchor, which really makes me think that if they're gonna do any major updates um, for creators, they're definitely gonna put that time and attention and detail into it. And let alone having a podcast that we can listen to to kind of learn more about that, that process as they're transparent about, you know, 
sharing what they did with their logo and, and all of that. So I hope you guys got value in this video. I just wanted to kind of read through that. It's my first time reading through it. Uh, so of course, you know, I'm stumbling over my words a little bit, but I hope you guys got value from this. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and help, help it uh, rise in the YouTube algorithm. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Subscribe and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.